Breaking news. Tottenham are going to. Fabrizio Romano drops exciting Spurs transfer update. Welcome back to Tottenham News Today channel. Before we dive into this transfer update, be sure to press that subscribe button and keep up with all the latest news. Tottenham may not be finished in the transfer market just yet with the possibility of additional signings before the window closes. According to transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, Spurs are still considering bringing in one or two more players to further strengthen their squad. Despite these additions, Romano hints that the club could remain active in the final days of the transfer window, suggesting that Spurs are a team to watch as the deadline approaches. Romano pointed out that while Dominic Solanke was a primary target for the Lillywhites, the club has managed to keep their other transfer activities discreet. He indicated that there could be more surprises in store for fans as Tottenham look to make final adjustments to their squad. Speaking to Give Me Support, the Italian journalist said, I would not exclude anything from Tottenham, apart from Solanke, who is always the top target. All other signings they've been very good at keeping in the background. I think, for Tottenham, there's still the possibility to do one or two more signings. I'm not sure it's going to be two, but it could be. I think Tottenham are going to be one of the clubs to follow in the final days. One area where the Spurs might seek reinforcement is at left back. With Destiny Udogi currently occupying the starting role, the Lillywhites may want to add depth in that position. Sergio Reguilon is a potential option for this role, but his future at the club remains uncertain as he is likely to depart this summer. It is also suggested that the club will look to sign another centre-back before the window shuts. As the transfer window nears its conclusion, Tottenham fans will be eagerly anticipating any last-minute additions that could further bolster the team. Romano's insight suggests that Spurs are still in the market, aiming to strengthen their squad as they prepare for a competitive season ahead. Fabrizio Romano says that rumoured Tottenham target Kingsley Coman is one to keep an eye on in the final days of the transfer window, suggesting that the winger could make a surprise late transfer from Bayern Munich. Coman was a bit part player at Bayern last season, and it has been suggested that he could decide to leave the Allianz Arena in search of regular game time. Journalist Steve Kay told KS1 TV earlier this month that the Frenchman does not feature prominently in Vincent Company's plans and could be bound for the Premier League. He revealed that Spurs were interested in the 28-year-old and pointed out that the North London side may have an advantage in the race as the player is represented by CAA base who Tottenham have a good relationship with. Meanwhile, journalist Ben Jacobs told Henry Wright TV a few days ago that both Spurs and Arsenal have had internal discussions about a move for Coman, but he suggested that a transfer may be unlikely for the 28-year-old at this stage of the window. However, Romano believes that there is every chance that the former Juventus winger will end up at a new club before Friday's transfer deadline. The journalist said on his YouTube channel, a player to watch in the final 24 hours, 48 hours, 56 hours or whatever. In the final days is Kingsley Coman because interest in Coman is still there. It's a strong interest from Premier League clubs. Coman has several possibilities also in England. So he's going to be one to watch for the final days because there is still an expectation for Coman to leave Bayern. There could be a surprise with Coman. Romano also tweeted that although Coman has not yet given it the green light, Bayern have agreed a fee with Saudi Arabian club Al-Hilal. Tottenham remain active in the transfer market, with Nottingham Forest midfielder Morgan Gibbs-White becoming a significant target. According to transfer insider Dean Jones, Spurs are focused on strengthening their midfield, with Gibbs-White high on their list. Jones highlighted that Tottenham's interest in Gibbs-White extends beyond his offensive capabilities. The club envisions him playing a deeper role in midfield as opposed to a traditional number eight. Speaking to Rank's FC podcast, he said, One thing I've been told a few times is that they want someone with power from the midfield. Morgan Gibbs-White is someone they like, but they like him as more of a number eight breaking out, not as a traditional number eight. They like that and they like Joao Gomes at Wolves. Gibbs-White, valued at around £33 million, has attracted Spurs' attention with his versatility and creativity. Last season, he played a crucial role for Nottingham Forest, featuring in 37 Premier League games, scoring five goals and providing 10 assists. Since joining Forest, 
he has scored 12 and assisted 18 in 82 games across all competitions. His ability to excel in various attacking roles makes Gibbs White a strong candidate for manager Ange Postacoglu's squad. Tottenham are reportedly keen on making one or two more signings before the transfer window closes, with Gibbs White potentially adding significant depth and quality to their midfield. As the transfer deadline approaches, Tottenham fans will be eagerly watching to see if the club can secure Gibbs White, bolstering their squad for a successful season ahead. Spurs backed not to make a move for £25 million player this summer. Tottenham have been subject to might links with a move for a new right back in the works as they look to provide cover for Pedro Porro. The Lily Whites have been looking to replace Emerson Royal at Hotspur Way following the Brazilian international's move to AC Milan earlier in the ongoing window. The links to Vanderson have been questionable and John Wenham doesn't think that Tottenham would make a move for the Brazilian defender considering in the ongoing window. Wenham believes that Daniel Levy would only be eyeing Vanderson if Porro were to make a move away from the North London outfit. Speaking in an exclusive interview with Tottenham News, the podcast host said, If we were looking to sign Vanderson, what does that mean for DJ Spence? I just can't see this transfer happening if I am honest. I'm very happy with Porro as our starting right back and Spence as the backup. However, perhaps Vanderson is part of a long term list and if Porro was to leave the club at any point, we would then move to sign him. Vanderson's links have amplified after Lekeep suggested that Tottenham are readying a bid of £25 million to bring the player to White Hart Lane. While Tottenham have multiple needs to deal with before the deadline day, a new right-back doesn't seem to be among the necessities unless they are looking at a life without Porro in the near future. It doesn't seem that the club will make a move for Vanderson this summer. However, with only two days to go, we will see what Daniel Levy thinks about it. Real Betis are working to sign the Tottenham midfielder Giovanni Lo Celso. The 28-year-old attacking midfielder has been linked with a move away from the North London club and the Spanish outfit are prepared to secure his signature before the transfer window closes. According to Fabrizio Romano, the La Liga outfit are now pushing to sign the Argentine international and the player is expected to leave in the final few days of the transfer window. Real Betis will replace Nabil Fakir with the Tottenham attacking midfielder. The French international midfielder is heading to Qatari side Al Jazeera and Lo Celso will fill the void left by him. Lo Celso has struggled for regular game time at the London club and he needs to leave in order to play regularly. A move to Real Betis would be ideal for him. He has played for them in the past and he knows the club well. The midfielder is highly rated at the Spanish club as well. He will look to get his career back on track with a return to Spain. He will add goals, flair, vision and technical ability in the final third. He is capable of slotting into multiple attacking roles as well. If Real Betis can sign him for a reasonable price, the move could look like a bargain. Spurs are already well stocked in the attacking areas and they will look to cash in on the player as well. They will look to recoup some money from his sale and free up the wage bill. That's all for today's update. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay in the loop with all things Tottenham, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on our latest content. Don't forget to like this video and share it with fellow Spurs supporters. Let's grow our Tottenham News Today community together. Thanks for watching and as always, come on you Spurs.